It is. Well, it's more like my father's dream. He's been searching for that tower since even before it reappeared. And he's been hoping to see it completed for even longer. I didn't understand why my dad was so excited about the thing. Until I saw it in person. It got me thinking. What the heck is up there that could justify building such a tower? And what kind of power could turn such a massive tower into rubble in an instant? Well, whatever it is, I won't be finding out anytime soon. But the bigger the mystery, the greater its hold on you. The bigger the thrill when everything is finally revealed, right? When that day finally comes, <laughs> we'll have a real blast. The specter of death had always been near though it took many forms. Sometimes it was a drug injected into my blood. Other times it was a makeshift instrument cutting away at my flesh. Sometimes it even took the form of a living person. I was certain I was strong enough, but I thought I could survive it. I was so sure. Perhaps I am a failure, because I knew I was the one. My body which had been replaced piece by piece after countless experiments, sank below the waves like a stone. Down I went, further and further. I was sure I'd never again see the sun. And yet even there, at the bottom of the deep, dark sea... Using that statue. So they came up with a mechanism by which those they deemed worthy could quickly ascend to the top. I suspect this tower's creator knew it would be destroyed. There was a light. Most likely a memory of whoever or whatever created this tower. But I'm sure you guessed as much. They must have had a very good reason for preserving their memories within an artifact. Although I could hardly guess what purpose or motive would drive someone to do so. The light of the anglerfish was enough for my work. There, at the bottom of the sea... I began to build a tower. Time no longer mattered, and I had all the strength I needed. I can finally see it. The morning sun that has been shrouded from me for centuries. The old men's experiments had given me that much. The moment I emerged from beneath the water, I knew it. I'm not defective. I'm not a failure. They were afraid of me. They were afraid because they created an adversary even more powerful than they were. The realization hit me like a tidal wave. A laboratory floating in the air. A test subject who fell into the sea. A tower stretching into the sky. It's clear that test subject built this tower to escape from the sea. And judging from the height of this tower... He didn't stop there. I have my suspicions, but I'll hold off on speculation until I know more. How are you two just chatting about this so calmly? You're acting like an experiment to create an adversary is totally normal. And it wasn't just one experiment. They built a laboratory, and they did it over and over until they got it right. Who were these people? And what was their motivation? Could he have been referring to this experiment to its purpose? I can't say. But it seems there's more to all of this than we suspected. Beats me. Sorry, but my dad isn't really the sharing type. Probably because he doesn't even trust his own children. I mean, I get it. My pops is a genius. You know how people treat geniuses. They laugh at them or ignore them. All because they're not smart enough to see how the dots are connected. They used to call him a weirdo. <laughs> I bet my dad had a rough time, too. But at least he was a genius. Me? I'm just an ordinary seeker. A son who didn't live up to his father's expectations. I honestly don't care about the legend behind the tower. What I want is simple. I want to see the tower completed. And I want to see what destroyed it with my own two eyes. Nikki, you know you can talk to us about how you're feeling. I'll understand. Yeah, that's right. Me and Irina have a lot of experience helping kids work through their feelings. Are you calling me a kid? The door. I was so convinced all I had to do was make it back there. The door to the laboratory would only open for the vessel of an adversary. I knew I could pass through it. There wasn't a doubt in my mind. Because even if I wasn't complete yet, I was the vessel of the adversary. All I have to do is make it to the laboratory. From there I'll be able to figure everything else out. As long as I can make it through the door, I'll become a true adversary. 
I'm so close now. I just need to build a little higher. I just have to hold out a little longer. Or so I believed. I thought I saw it peeking out from below the clouds, beneath that cliff from which I was thrown so long ago. I had finally made it, but that was the moment the attack came from the sky. The tower I had spent so many years building turned to ash in an instant. That tremendous power. The door will not open to those who are unworthy. Ever. Came down upon my head, laying there at the bottom of my broken tower. I had an epiphany. I didn't have to open the door myself. I just had to find someone else who could. I needed another vessel, a new adversary. Interesting. I was curious who had restored this blasphemous tower. Machines? I see. Despite encountering the Guardians, you survived. You are a true adversary. I do not attack those who are worthy. Those who built me built the Guardians to identify a true vessel. But it's strange. The Guardians cannot function beyond the bounds of their domain. You shouldn't have encountered them at all. Not in this profane tower. The place I am tasked with protecting. The laboratory of my creators, who have since turned their gaze from it. They were afraid. Afraid that one not committed to the cause would steal the vessels. That's why the Guardians were only permitted to function within the laboratory. If they left, they should have grown still, little more than ordinary statues. Perhaps someone intentionally lured them away, but too many years have passed, and countless guardians have gone missing. Such a person might have had the means to reprogram them to attack you. Yes, but none of this changes my duty. A worthy vessel is here. I must open the door. You may pass. You and you alone. The others must remain, and especially you, the first to arrive. Your body is constructed from the technology of this place. For a moment, I was fooled. But after seeing you alongside a true vessel, you are a well-made fraud, but a fraud nonetheless. Nevertheless, I am not permitted to attack if it would risk the safety of a worthy vessel. Leave now. Yes. One like you. Of course. How could I not after what happened last time? Oh, yeah. We're old friends. Don't you remember? You blew up my greatest invention. I have to say, that sucked harder than a black hole. Do you know what a black hole generator would have sold for? I should have sent you the bill. You'd never forget a price tag like that. You really don't remember me. I'm disappointed. Long time no see. Or maybe you just don't recognize me without this on. That's what I thought. You knew, didn't you, Father? That things would go this way. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no point in lying to me now. I'm going to die here anyway, and can't you be honest with me just this once? Kalos' power, once I had it in my hands, there's no way I could have ever given it up. I felt like a god! <sighs> defective? How dare you call me defective? <sighs> Spending all their time in that lab must have driven the old geezers crazy. If I could just get out of here, I know I could find a way to fix everything somehow. <laughs> no! Stay back! You said you weren't disappointed. Because everything went the way you expected. You knew, didn't you, Father? You knew if I merged with the Guardian, I wouldn't be able to stop myself. Yes, of course you knew. You programmed me that way in the first place, didn't you? My greed, my impulsiveness... All of it! You were hoping I'd neutralize Kalos and slay the vessel of the adversary. Don't you think you bit off more than you could chew? You didn't even lift a finger. <laughs> the ultimate thrill. I was stupid. I never thought for a moment that I would die. 
It took virtually dying to realize it. I always thought I behaved this way because it was just who I was. I was just a tool to you from the very beginning, wasn't I? When did you make me this way? Was it when you repaired my broken body after the Arcane River? Or was it even before that? Or was that just another lie you put in my head? <sighs> the only thing I ever wanted was to make you proud of me! Say something, Father. Tell me I'm wrong! Tell me I'm talking nonsense! <laughs> Please. You know whatever you say, I'll have no choice but to believe you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something you won't believe, because why not? You know Jaren Darmor? God King of the High Flora? I met him once. He came to us when the company first fell apart, and he talked about you. He was planning to break your precious seal stone right from the beginning, even before you reached the end of the Arcane River. If you're curious, you should go there too. To Odium. That damned place. Let's see. The angle and direction look good. Now's as good a time as any to push off, right? There are worse fates than dying alongside the champion of the Alliance, but I think I'll pass for now. And say hi to Kosim for me. No chance of them keeping their nose out of what's to come. Oh, and if you do meet my father, look after him, will you? Is what I'm feeling now real or a lie? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter anymore. In the end, it wasn't all fake, father. And besides, it really was a thrill.